Hello, I'm Bishop Mike McKee. Last week, the United Methodist Church had a special called session of the General Conference of the Church. There was one purpose of that special called session, and that was to find a way forward for our ministry with LGBTQ persons in our church. The decision made last week was a decision that really was similar to what we now have in the discipline regarding our ministries of LGBTQ persons, except it also included more penalties or ways of accountability for our ministry. Many people are very unhappy with the results. They expected and they work for something different. And many of those persons are in the North Texas Annual Conference. Also, there are persons who are pleased with the results. But this just reminds us of the differences of opinions on this particular issue confronting our church. But I want to remind you, when it comes to persons, regardless if they're gay or straight, it's really not an issue. It's about relating to people as beloved children of God. And whether people are gay or straight, they are all beloved children. In fact, the discipline says very clearly that all persons are of sacred worth. I want to remind you that that really is the stance of the North Texas Conference and of the General Church. In the coming weeks, we're really waiting, though, for a decision of the Judicial Council of the United Methodist Church. Is the legislation that was passed last week in St. Louis constitutional? And we really do not know the effects or the actual wording of the legislation and what will be in the discipline until after the, the Judicial Council meets next month. So one of the things I want to say to you is breathe. I know that seems to be a simple thing, but we are prone to make rash decisions when things happen dramatically. And so right now we won't be making decisions. You may already be thinking about what you're going to do in response or even in reaction to what has happened. But I want to say this to every United Methodist person, wait. We have much mission to accomplish in this region. And there are people who are depending on the witness of, of our church in order to, to deepen the relationship with Jesus Christ to continue working with public schools in our region, to continue feeding persons and working with homeless, and continue to bring grace to people's lives, people who are hurting. A special word to those of you who are LGBTQ persons in our churches. I want you to know that you are of worth, as I said earlier, and you are deeply loved. And if you ever receive a message that is somewhat different than that from a pastor in our congregations or laypersons, I want you to call me. I want you to call me so that I can assure you of who we really are. And I want to speak a word of grace and witness to your life personally. So let us all remember that there are many people who are hurting at this time. And I would like for you to remember that this wasn't about winners and losers. This really was about a time in which you tried to find a way in which we can live together in order to witness to the grace of Jesus Christ. God bless you and may you continue in this great work.